Huh. We're all about the business, right? I mean, this YouTube thing and all this other stuff. We're all about growing the business, right? Yeah, of course. Huh. I'm kind of thinking, man. And, and hear me out. Maybe we should move back to the States for a while. Like, not even permanently, for like six to nine months, something like that. Just to kind of give the business a boost. No, absolutely not. What the fuck? Why not? First of all, we are not going back to that hard life in the oh, States. Oh, don't get carried away. You were hardly living a hard life back in Phoenix. No, I kind of agree with that. We were juggling full-time jobs and still barely scraping the bottom of the barrel. There's no way we'd be able to throw what we have going on right now on top of that. Yeah, but like I said, it would just be temporary though. Bro, we are not putting in all that time and effort to live here just to go back. Like that makes zero sense. I mean, also with us being independent, here, we don't have as many options. I mean, what if we wanted to do like Uber or Lyft, Uber Eats, Postmates, Grubhub? We can't, we can't really do that stuff here. I mean, I agree with you, but I'm not trying to leave just to do that, right? First off, they do have that stuff here. I watch videos of a guy that makes a lot of money doing that stuff here in Germany. Yeah, but that's in the bigger cities like Berlin. We live nowhere near Berlin. Yo, this guy flipping his wig or what? Oh man, you can do what you want to do, but I'll tell you right now. And we put in a lot of work. We've come a long way. I ain't trying to leave the place. I'm just not. Yeah, exactly. The fuck's this guy talking about? Bro, don't even act like that. I can't help that I'm the one thinking about it. I mean, I never want to leave this place either, but just been kind of thinking about it, you know? Thinking about the business a little bit. The States is the hub. Like, that's where everything happens. You know what I mean? Huh. So for the record, I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to put my thoughts together on video in a sketch, and that's what they were. But let me explain a little bit what that's about. So I'm here in Germany. I don't do a traditional line of work. I don't do a nine to five, as they call it. I pretty much work for myself, self-employed. Because of those of you that remember last year, last summer or so, early summer, when I left my final nine to five job. That was gonna be it for me. I was vowing to myself to be independent going forward. That's what I am, that's what I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. But taking this direction with things, you, uh, you pretty much put everything into your own hands. So I take opportunities as they come. I don't mind doing a lot of things if it's done on my time, on my schedule, and if I can pretty much make the, the rules for it. So when I see opportunities to make a financial come up, I jump on them. Who would it? I find here in Germany, it's a little bit, just a tad bit harder to come by when it comes to these opportunities that jump out from nowhere. And what I mean by those are the ones that were mentioned in the sketch, the Ubers, the Lyfts, uh, the, the Postmates, the Grubhubs, you know, and, and things similar to that. That's not abundant here. There's not a lot of that going on. So they pretty much got a pass on it. In the bigger cities, it's happening. Uh, I don't know that all of those are going on, but in the bigger cities, you tend to see more of it. I don't really live in the big city or near the big city. So I pretty much got to do what I can. When it comes to the internet and online opportunities, I'm all over those. Whether you know it or not, I have things going on all over the internet that are actually benefiting me and doing me well. And I'll continue to do these things as long as I'm happy doing it. And as long as it's actually providing for me. I'm happy with what I'm doing. Germany's happy with what I'm doing. It's working out. But I'd be remiss if I didn't say that I kind of sometimes wish that there were just more of these little opportunities, these little easy, what I consider easy opportunities to just jump out there and just make some really good dough. I know people back there doing it all the time, you know, and doing pretty good at it. I just wish it was more abundant here. Now, I don't want y'all to misunderstand me. I'm not trying to be disrespectful and say that, you know, there's any kind of slacking going on for not having it. I mean, there's a reason it's not here yet because there is talks of things like that coming. Um, but I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just trying to say that it'd be nice that if I can use some of this time that I have to just go out there and, and take advantage of that some, you know, sometimes. It's not enough to make me leave Germany. Like, don't even, like, get that out of your mind. You're not getting rid of me that easily. But I wouldn't be against doing what I said in the sketch and taking some time away to go get myself like a nice little cushion boost and come back. That, that would work for me. 
And who knows, over time, I just might look into it. I mean, I can do what I want to do. I'm independent. And the freedom to do those things, if I choose, is what I value most. And that's why I do what I do. So yeah, man, I really can't wait till Germany is okay with some of this stuff coming here. And this is just a quick video. I, I'm doing this part, hardly even edited, after the sketch. That sketch was made, I don't know how long ago. And I just figured I'd add on some supporting details and supporting information to what the sketch was about before people start going crazy and losing their minds. Because I know people get sensitive. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video.